Well, I think the guys are just excited about having a chance to work towards something. Um, I, I think the spring season is beginning to become a reality to them. I think, think the mind um, preparation for that is kind of where they're at, um, kind of moving forward. So I think they're excited. It feels really good. I mean, this is a, a long time coming. Um, you know, it was, it was frustrating a lot for us. Uh, you know, you start watching some games because you've got some Saturdays off now, and it's like, man, I really wish we were playing. And uh, so it finally feels good to be out here, and uh, we're just waiting, ready to uh, strap it up and go again. Uh, it feels great, man. It's, a, it's been a long time coming, just uh, being over quarantine, being stuck at home for the past months or whatever, and just having a season canceled, just being out here with my brothers and putting the pads on everything. It's a great feeling. Well, we spent a lot of time, obviously, with the strength and conditioning program. Uh, we've had two days a week out here uh, with, with helmets on and, and spider pads. Uh, haven't done a ton of football, though. Um, you know, not a lot of extensive work on the football field, just enough to kind of keep them sharp. Um, but we'll really focus in here for the next 15 practices of, you know, trying to install our systems, trying to advance kind of some of our special team stuff along with our offense and our defense. So. Uh, I know the guys are excited about it. I know that they're, it's just another step for them to kind of be competitive and, and work again towards something. Well, there was a lot of accountability and a lot of responsibility we had to take uh, when we went home back in March. Uh, we didn't know how long we were going to be home, so we knew we were like, you know, it's, it's kind of, we got to get ourselves ready. And, uh, you know, we had to grow up real fast. A lot of underclassmen had to, you know, it's a weird first year college football. So, um, you know, I think we did real well. I think we prepared ourselves. And uh, when we came back in August, we hit the ground running. And so I think uh, it's going to help us out a lot. Uh, I feel like this fall ball week one is just having effort and consistency and uh, having that intensity to work. And then having a good fall ball and um, doing those fundamentals so we can come back um, once we have camp in January, which is so weird. <laughs> we can come back ready to play in the season. Well, I think the, the most important thing that we do is just continue to develop our players, to develop the guys that are here, and then obviously the guys that have came, came in. Um, a unique situation right now is you have some of these younger guys that you know are freshmen uh, and they'll have an opportunity to play this spring and they get a chance to learn the system uh, a couple times um, because they'll learn it again when they come back in January. So you know developing those guys, developing the current players, that's really what it's all about and just continuing to invest in those guys and see if we can keep it at a championship level. I feel like a big part in the upperclassmen is just bringing the young fellows along because they bringing them that culture since they haven't been here really and haven't been uh, like played really in those games and just being a leader and voicing them and giving them tips and all that so they can learn so we can keep that culture and win another championship this year. Well, having a year under my belt here, uh, it showed me a lot, showed a lot about the, the culture here. Uh, I knew about it growing up. I've been around it my whole life. Um, and so I knew what it was like, uh, what I was getting myself into. And so uh, last year winning a conference championship and uh, making that run was was great. And it was it's the standard. We talk about define the standard all the time. and um, that's different than a lot of other programs where they try to have one or two great years and then try again in a few more years. But every year it's the same uh, goal. But uh, so it, it just says a lot about the program and history.